What's going on guys? Back with another video talking about the best accessories for bench. Now, these are my personal opinion, so these might not be the best for everyone, but I did try to pick accessories that not only work for me, but I feel like will work for a majority. You have two different types of accessories. You have specific and non-specific. Um, close grip, long pause photo, those are gonna be specific. Um, they are gonna be variations of the bench press. That's why they, they are gonna be specific. Non-specific, dips, flies, skull crushers, these bonus accessories that I added on the non-specific side, pull-ups and lap pull-downs, you might be like, well, that's kind of weird. Those are back accessories. You're absolutely right. But I feel like your lats play a huge role in the bench press. I don't feel like they do, they just do. So pull-ups and lap pull-downs are gonna be some really solid accessories that you can add in to improve your bench press. Your lats are heavily involved on the eccentric portion of the bench. So as you are lowering that weight, your lats are working a lot, or at least they should be. Um, if you're getting in the correct position and you're maintaining the control on the eccentric, which is gonna allow you to stay in your strongest position to allow you to produce the most force and have the strongest press possible. Getting a little bit ahead of myself, I wanna bring it back to the specific accessories now. So close grip, long pause, and spoto. Close grip, very common. I'm sure a lot of you have used close grip bench before. Definitely gonna help you know, improve the triceps. It's definitely gonna um, improve your lockout. A lot of times your you know, triceps are really kind of finishes off that press. So definitely gonna help in the top half of the movement. It's also increasing the range of motion. So it's just, it's, it's a good muscle builder as well for uh, triceps, anterior delts and chest. Long pause, kind of the opposite of close grip. So this is really gonna help in the bottom portion of the movement. So the long pause is gonna force you again to maintain strong positioning and eliminate any momentum whatsoever, which is gonna really improve explosiveness off your chest. One of the first variations that I added that I know helped my bench press immensely was long pause. I started doing long pause bench and I'm pretty certain within a month I was, I think I added like 15, 20 pounds to my bench. Now this was years and years ago. So I was, the level I was progressing was a little higher than where I'm at now. Obviously, as your experience goes up, those gains become a lot harder to come by, but long pause had that just immediate um, benefit, and I can literally week by week feel the difference. So I'm a huge advocate of that. Any of my people you know, you've probably done a lot of long pause. The third one is photo press. This is probably one that maybe some of you aren't familiar with. So it's photo press. I don't know if there's an exact version on the internet somewhere, but from what I observed from an uh, Eric Spoto video is he comes down to about two inches from his chest and then comes back up. So what I like to do personally is take a little bit of a, a little more narrow grip than my competition grip. I come down with doing the pause about two inches from your chest it's gonna, again, force you to maintain positioning, maintain tightness on the way down, so then that way you can actually uh, stop the bar early, and then pressing up is really gonna, again, help that top end of the movement. It's another, uh, it's another one of those that'll have like an immediate impact. I'm, I'm saying within a few weeks of implementing photo press, you'll start feeling stronger. So let's get to the non-specific. Dips, flies, skull crushers. Probably, I'm sure a lot of you have done all of these. Um, just a big fan of dips. I feel like as far as triceps go, that's gonna be the one that's gonna strengthen them the most, mainly because of how much you can overload. I mean, a dip 
you know, just using your body weight, it's not like it's super easy. So if you start overloading with uh, using a belt, throwing some plates on, you can, you can overload quite a bit. So that's gonna help out your triceps a lot, a lot more than a damn tricep extension. If you're looking for something to build those triceps, because triceps, dips. Dips are gonna be what does that. Flies, probably have them on here for a reason you're, that you wouldn't expect. Um, you know, sure, flies help build up the chest. Um, Mainly why I have them up here though is for just pec health. Um, just for, for me, I do so many pressing movements. I would say easily in a bench day, I'm hitting 12 sets of some type of press, whether that is just barbell, dumbbell. Um, I'm hitting a lot, a lot of pressing movements. So, not getting as much stretch on the pec. The flies, and I use a machine, again, because I'm more so worried about just getting that long stretch. Um, the, the machine allows me to do that with a lot more control, and I'll even like pause as I'm kind of in a, um, as the pec is like lengthened fully, I'll pause and then come up. And I, you know, I'm not like just slinging it, control nice long stretch and then come in with control and squeeze your chest you know what i mean just try and squeeze your chest to finish it off so flies mainly for pec health do the flies and i always end on them use it as like almost you know again like a stretch um so to keep you healthy it's going to allow you to bench press more if you really want to improve your bench press you probably heard me say it bench press more frequency volume those are where you're gonna get better by doing the movement. So these will allow you to do so. Third one is skull crushers. Again, I feel like it's probably one of the best muscle builders for the tricep. Um, I've just always gotten a really good response from them. Me personally, don't push them super heavy. They, you know, they, they can put a lot of stress on like your wrists and elbows. Don't go super heavy. I'll use an easy bar, uh, so it gives the wrist a little bit of a break, and uh, I don't know, I'll sometimes just load it up with like two tens on each side, and I might hit the first set of like 20, and then I might throw another 10 on and do 15, then another 10 on and do 10. So I'm not using crazy weight. I mean, I, I see guys loading like 45s on, uh, it's, you know, to each their own, but for me, I was I've always liked doing lighter weight, higher reps with uh with basically uh, a lot of the non-specific accessories, like even dips when I'm overloading. Like I think I've had uh, three plates, something or like three plates strapped to me for dips. I'm still hitting it for like 12 reps, 15 reps. Flies, you're looking at minimum 12, 15 reps. So, a little bit higher reps on the non-specific. For the specific, you could kind of use like your competition movement rep ranges. Uh, close grip, for me, I like to stay a little bit higher rep, maybe like the, not super high, like powerlifting high. So five to 10. Uh, long pause, because you're gonna be using long pauses, you don't wanna do high reps with them one to three reps is probably all I would recommend. And Spoto, similar to close grip, you can get away with, you know, doing single. You, I mean, you could do anything with Spoto. Singles to tens, it's just, it's really up to you. I wouldn't say there's any right or wrong, depending on where you're at in your program. You know, you can vary the rep ranges accordingly. And then again, just to reiterate these, these little bonus accessories here, because I know you guys probably weren't expecting to see them when I have bench up there, but I would recommend working on pull-ups and lat pull-downs, like basically every workout. Throughout every training day, I'm doing pull-ups. I just, it's kind of what I'll do to bridge the gap in between my working sets. Um, you know, I'm not going till failure or anything. like. For me, I don't know, I could probably do 20, 
25 pull-ups. I don't know, I haven't done them in a while. That's just from the Air Force days. Uh, so in between sets, I'll hit eight to 12. And I might do four, five, six sets throughout the, uh, throughout the main movement of that day. Since I'm having a little bit longer breaks, like if I'm squatting, taking five minute rest, hit a, hit a set of 10 pull-ups. It all adds up, maximize your time, become efficient. And uh, hopefully these work for you guys. Again, there's, there's tons you can list. These are personally, for me, what has helped the most and what I feel can help a majority of you. So, you know, leave comments, questions below. Uh, always interested in hearing what you guys wanna see. So you can always leave comments for future content. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you next time.